Nah, he's probably just trolling me. Yeah. I don't know. Alright, Falco versus Falcon. Uh, this tends to be a tough matchup for Falcon. Yeah. Because Falco has a lot of tools to just completely stuff all of Falcon's options into the so. Yeah. And that's what Falcon's going to want to do is like avoid the lasers, use his movement. Mm -hmm. If anything, Falcon is a lot faster than Falco. So he should be able to use that. Oh my god. That was some really good yeah, shit. Yeah, SJKF right channeling in his inner West Balls after fighting him at Forte. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I'd never play Captain Falcon to win. I'd only play him for fun. Like, I play him yeah. on the side as a fun character. Like, yeah. when I'm playing friendly. He's freaking funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's so funny when he screams. The way he screams when he dies. I just hear a lot of blips. SJKF looking really solid in this matchup. Still very yeah. low percent. Uh, I know, I know SJKF practices Falco a lot. So, over... Over a long time, like he's used his lasers to improve his neutral game. He's a really aggressive player, so he knows how to keep the pressure on. Yeah. But he's also pretty glass cannon like. I've played a few friendlies with him a few months, like about half a year ago. Uh, I did manage to take the first two friendlies off of him, but later on he started like using all these other laser tricks that I wasn't aware of at the time and started completely f wiping the floor with me. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh. oh just one stock, dude. <laughs> that ain't nice at all, Mike. <laughs> Turning Rumble on. You don't see that often. Hey, some people want to feel themselves as they play. Yeah. I think Mike is explaining Salt the idea of stage banning and counter picks. Because I think this is Salt's first turning, so. He's not too familiar with the rule set of a Smash tournament yet. Yeah. It's understandable. This is the exact same thing Mike did to me at my first tournament. Ah, uh, good times. Alright, we're going to Battlefield. Ah, oh, man. That, that shield grab is not safe. Like, assuming that really was a late nair. He probably, oh my god. <laughs> Just SJK keeping the pressure. shield pressure. He's been pra this man's been practicing. Oh, yeah. Alright. Waits for a reaction. Roll away. That's... That was, I like the roll away. Resets to neutral. A lot of people, definitely including myself, tend to like, roll in a lot. Yeah, I... Out of a really bad habit. Okay. Takes the first stock with nice. Yeah, nice bear right from there. the ledge to cover both options in case he actually made it back on the stage. Yeah. Oh, nice falling laser. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good combo oh. going. Ah, uh, yeah, didn't get, get attacked. Didn't get the other dare fast enough. Yeah. He's shooting lasers at all the right times. Oh, oh nice knee. Oh, good spot dodge to avoid the stomp. Oh, oh, and he takes nice a stop. Bear, okay. Good job, Salt. Uh, I Doesn't think, jump out of I the think shine. SJKF wanted to do a shine bear. Yeah. I like, the sh I like doing the shine when I fall off the ledge because it creates a buffer. So in case you do the bear but accidentally don't jump, it's, that's kind of what it's for, I think. Even though it, you only, like, use about you only use like three or four frames so it's not too costly oh. yeah. so I just saw Salt do an immediately sh I mean immediate shield grab as um, SJKF appro laser approached him like it works sometimes but I don't agree with it usually yeah because that just shows how desperate the opponent is when he's under the shield um, I assume Mark Mike is smart enough to like just be aware of that and He'll later want to wait if he sees Salt keep doing that. I really hate getting punished by just a, a really idle shield grab. Yeah. Aww. It's just really, it's just like, you're just getting punished by these really noob things when really 
guys just patient enough or desperate enough. Yeah. I don't know.